today we are going to learn about setting up conditions in our ASAP hosted PBS. Our sample customer today is going to be ABC Manufacturing Company. Here's a few things you need to know about them. Their hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., and they are closed on Sundays. Next, we need to talk about the call flow. An important component of the call flow are conditions. Conditions tell our system how to perform based on other events. Today we'll be talking about three types of conditions. First is the failover condition. This condition checks that a internet connection is available and the system can receive calls properly. Second is the holiday condition which determines whether or not it is a holiday. Next is the time of day condition. This condition decides where the call will be sent depending on the company's hours of operation. When an incoming call comes in on a DID, the first thing it does is check the failover condition. The failover condition looks at all telephones on the network to make sure that they are online and can receive calls. If the condition sees that the telephones are offline and cannot receive calls, the call will automatically be sent to an alternative location. These alternative locations can be an after hours answering service, a mobile telephone, a voicemail box where the caller can leave a message, a sister company which can be a branch location in another city, or an IVR that gives callers other options. We'll talk more about IVRs later. If the failover condition sees that the telephones are online and can receive calls, it will move on to the next condition. The next condition is called the holiday condition. The holiday condition checks the system's internal calendar to determine if today is a holiday. If today is a holiday, the call will be sent to a holiday IVR where callers may hear Thank you for calling ABC Manufacturing Company. In observance of the holiday, our office is closed today. If today is not a holiday, the call will proceed to the next condition. The next condition is called the time of day condition. This condition is where the system checks to see if it is either business hours or non-business hours. If the caller is calling during non-business hours, including if the business is closed on weekends, the call will be sent to the destination we have chosen for this company. This would most often be an off-site after-hours answering service or a night IVR where callers may hear, Thank you for calling ABC Manufacturing Company. Our office is now closed. Office hours are Monday through Friday. If this condition sees that it is currently business hours, the call will most likely be sent to what is called the day IVR, a single phone or a group of phones. In this example, we have chosen to send the caller to the day IVR. We talked about condition one, which is the failover condition that occurs when the system is down. Next, we covered condition two, the holiday condition where on a holiday, calls are sent to a holiday IVR. Next, we went over the time of day condition. This condition decides where the call will be sent depending on the day of the week and the time of day. This concludes the condition portion of the call.
video, you will learn about the different types of conditions. The first thing you want to do is start by clicking conditions on the left hand side of your screen. Here is where we create all of our conditions. To create a new condition, you click new condition on the top right. Okay, now because we're creating our failover condition, we will name this failover. That's step one. Step two is picking our type. For the failover condition, we will choose multiple extensions status. For extensions, we want to choose every extension on this tenant. So that's from extension 201 all the way to extension 215. For state, we want to choose all users are offline. This destination says when it matches, when all phones are offline, we'll choose forward calls to our after hours answering service. Okay, so when these phones are offline, it will forward calls to the after hours answering service. The next destination says when there is no match, send calls to the next condition. Because we haven't created the next condition, we cannot choose it here. That means we will have to come back after we create our next condition and select it here in this drop down menu and then save it a second time. But for now, we will save it just like this. Now it's time to move on to our next condition. The next condition we will create is called the holiday condition. This condition checks to see if today is a holiday or not. If today is a holiday, the call will be sent to a holiday IVR. If today is not a holiday, the call will move on to the next condition. To create our holiday condition, we will start by clicking conditions on the left hand side of our screen. After that, we click new condition in the top right corner. This is our holiday condition, so we will name it holiday for the name. For the type, we will choose calendar from the drop down menu. No need to worry about the time zone. That's set in the default settings for this tenant. Next, we'll scroll down so we can see our full calendar. Okay, now let's say today is a holiday. Today's the 11th. If I click the 11th of September, you can see that it brings up a blue box. This blue box tells the calendar today is a holiday. So when the calendar sees that blue box on this day, it will follow the destination when matches. As we said before, we'll send it to the Holiday IVR. So we'll choose Holiday IVR. And when it does not match, we want to send it to our next condition. But because we haven't created our next condition, we'll have to come back after we create it and set it here in this drop down menu and then save. But for now, we'll leave it just like this and move on to our next condition. The next condition we will create is called the time of day condition. This condition checks the system to see if it is either business hours or non-business hours. If it is non-business hours, the call will most likely be sent to an after hours answering service or a night IVR. If it is business hours, the call will most likely be sent to the day IVR, one phone, or a group of phones. In this case, we've decided to send the calls to a day IVR during business hours and a night IVR for non-business hours. So the first thing you want to do is click conditions on the left hand side of your screen. That'll bring you to our conditions. 
Then you click New Conditions on the right side. Okay, so let's name this condition Time of Day. For the type, we will choose Week Time. No need to worry about the time zone. You want to scroll down a little bit so that you can see this full chart. This company, ABC Manufacturing, is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and they're closed on Sundays. So let's look at our chart. Here is Sunday through Saturday. So from Monday 8.30 to 5, you can see it says 8.30 to 1700 military time. That's 5 p.m. Same time on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Now Saturday from 10 to 2. So we'll go from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. Sunday they are closed. When the destination matches, or in other words, when it's the blue, we want to send the caller to a day IVR, like we spoke about before. There it is. When the destination does not match anything that isn't blue or non-business hours, we want to send them to the night IVR. Once you have that, you want to double check everything. Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You want to come down here and save. 